Hey there, this is William from Eastern Trophies Fly Fishing again. Uh, this session I'm going to tie up a, uh, a CK critter bug. I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold this so everybody can see. Um, it's a uh, it's a really good fly. Uh, you can fish this like a nymph. You can fish it like a streamer. Um, it uh, it's got a great helgramite profile. It's got a good leech pattern profile. It can you know be fished like a sculpin. I mean this thing is just versatile as anything. Um, CK once again Chuck Craft. He's the guy. Um, so we're going to uh, we're going to show you how to tie this. Basically uh, this is a leech tail on the back. Um, we have these laser cut. Um, there's calf's tail on the uh, on the base of the uh, of the leech tail um, and the wing up here. Uh, the body is basically just woolly bugger uh, chenille and then some legs and then some dumbbell eyes. So it's a pretty simple fly. Um, this one is a size six. Uh, we're gonna tie some up in a size four um, on some uh, Daiichi 2220 streamer hooks uh, number fours. So here we go. We got a Daiichi in already. Uh, number four, black thread. We're just gonna start the thread in the middle of the hook and we're gonna go back to right about between the barb of the hook and the point of the hook. We're gonna take our laser cut leech tail. It's got a tab here on the end which basically you can tie these in. Um, the great thing about these is you know that little tab will keep the tail on the fly on the uh, on the hook and the fly even after being pulled on you know 20 30 times by big fish you know because sometimes you'll get short strikes and stuff but these things will not break um, they they just go through so much uh, abuse and stuff so um, so basically you tie in the uh, tie in the tail like that when you get a better view and that's what it looks like on the top and the bottom kind of you get the idea so the tails in basically wrapped and secured down uh, from there we're going to take some some calves tail and you know you don't need a lot and you don't need a long bunch on this back part um, basically it's just to kinda give a feel for the tail so we're gonna basically clean this out so we get some longer longer fibers and you don't need a lot on the bottom you don't really need a lot on the top I'm just gonna trim these really quick so we're just gonna secure these in I just gotta spin my thread and make the thread jump the other way so that's secured in that's how it looks kinda of tough to see I know I'm using black on black and everything and the vice is black but I uh, I wore a different color shirt so everybody could see a little bit better against my shirt so um, so basically we have that bottom part tied in um, we're gonna do some more calves tail on the top and once we get done with that we'll move on to the uh, to the body um, this critter bug fly is a great fly to fish in uh, early spring for either trout or smallmouth. Um, and black is just a great, great dirty water color um, to fish. We love fishing dirty water. Um, with this bunch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it in my right hand and I'm going to basically slide it right through the point of the hook and then transfer it to my left and kind of just hold it down secure it with about three wraps and then that's it right there um, you can take uh, any kind of tool and kind of just divide those and basically what I just did was um, I, I just placed half whoops I placed half on one side of the hook and then half on on the other side of the hook just so they're they're evened out um, that's why I use that tool right there so yeah it's a great dirty water fly um, shows up really well you know in that muddy type water so we fish them a lot in the springtime and 
what we're going to do now, we're going to get some chenille. You can either use, uh, you know, some crystal chenille or just, you know, straight dull black or tan or, or clove. Clove is our brown color that we have in our crayfish tails and leech tails. Basically, I just pulled out the fibers at the end of the chenille so that it leaves those two strands, which basically... keep all the material wrapped in. All we're going to do is basically just secure that tab end right underneath where the point of the hook is and then we're going to go right in front of where the point of the hook is. Secure it down and kind of just toss that back and keep that for later. Um, right here we're going to tie in some legs. We keep these attached uh, so that they're easier to work with um, how many do I have here going across? I got one, two, three, four. I got one too many. I got seven. Um, basically, what we do is I'm going to tie these in right on top of the hook, and these are six going across. So I'm securing those in with a bunch of wraps, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split them so that there's three on each side. Okay and what I'm going to do is basically just pull them apart so that they end up being almost on the side okay but they're still all they're still connected three on each side and what that does is it just enables us to have better control of of the fly as we're tying it I just gotta reset that hook we're gonna slide our thread underneath the legs which we have pinched back and we're going to do two bumps Klauser style and we're going to basically attach our dumbbell eyes okay two bumps right there and a little drop of super glue and I'm holding the legs back at the same time as I'm wrapping in the dumbbell eyes about eight wraps one way and bring it back to square them up and that's what the dumbbell eyes look like see that pretty good we're gonna do some crisscross wraps just to secure these guys down and from there we're gonna bring the thread back in back of the dumbbell eyes and we're going to basically wrap the legs straight down just like we did in back and I'm just letting them go in between those little two, two, two thread wraps right there. We're just going to wrap right over them. Once again I'm going to split it or split them and I'm going to pull them down to the side and once again I keep three on each side all together. From there I start bringing the chenille up and I go right over the, the middle of the legs. I'm going to move my thread up behind the dumbbell eyes and just building up the body. And right here, I'm going to. I'm going to keep the thread right behind the uh, right behind the dumbbell eyes because we're going to add that top wing. I'm going to secure with just like two wraps the chenille temporarily right there and I'm going to flip the hook over and what we're going to do is right above the dumbbell eyes um, basically right, right on top of them um, we're going to put a, a wing of calf's tail and I'm going to do this in, in a in more of a rust color like a darker brown just to give it a just to give it a color difference we're tying these up for uh, for upcoming shows in sometimes giving a two-tone um, effect really uh, really trigger strikes so we have this dark brown color it's almost like a crayfish color um, calf's tail 
and this wing is going to be a little bit longer because you want this to go and basically cover or at least hide uh, the the point of the hook a little bit so we're going to trim them after we you know clean it out and pull them and get some longer strands we're going to trim them and we are going to lay them right on top of where the dumbbell eyes are and secure them with some about two wraps and then I'm just gonna push on the top and what that does is it basically just spreads them around the top of the hook um, and you can kinda see that since I use the different color too um, from there it's it only has two wraps I'm gonna put a little little drop of super glue right on those clipped ends and what that's gonna do it's just going to keep everything in check. Um, it's going to basically adhesion will go and pull the super glue up and in to the fibers. And from there, I'm just going to roll the hook over and I'm going to start covering the dumbbell eyes with the chenille and basically just finishing the fly with some wraps and we're just going to wrap this secure this head of the fly right behind the eye of the hook I'm going to get my whip finisher out clean up some of that fuzz there and uh, we're going to go and do a whip finish clean some of this up the legs are getting in the way a little bit for you to see see the fly I like to do two whip finishes a lot of the times on the flies that I tie just to give yourself some added insurance just in case you're out on the river and you get some kind of weird take where they take the front of the fly and a little bit of thread comes off on the first whip finish but you've got the uh, you've got the second whip finish there just to kind of give you insurance so um, we're just gonna clean out the eye of the hook with whip finish tool. Now the legs look really simple it doesn't even look right um, right there but once you go and finish the fly basically once you separate the legs um, they just take you know take on it it takes on the life of, of basically the fly and it starts to look buggy so I like to keep the legs about the length of the hook shank. Um, it keeps everything basically in the round and in the fly. And you know these are these are in and secure, and you know they're not going to be pulled out and stuff like that. So you can adjust them a little bit if you need to. But basically, this guy's looking pretty good. So this is the critter bug, and. Uh, that's the fly right there. You can really see the wing stand out on this guy. And that's the profile. We'll pan out a little bit so you can get a better look at this. Ooh. So that's the critter bug. Really good fly. Really simple to uh, tie. I mean, it only takes a couple materials, and it's just got a real, real buggy look in the in the water. I mean, these things just make fish go crazy so um, all the materials uh, not all the materials but the tails are available on our website um, these are the leech tails and uh, they come in clove black and uh, I believe the other color we have is the dark green which is called ivy and uh, that's uh, that's basically what you need with some chenille calves tail legs a number four hook number six works good too and then uh, some dumbbell eyes so Go try that guy. Hello, Smalley. EasternTrophies.com. We'll see you on the water. Tight lines.